Hey guys, Lek here. Today, a very important educational video when it comes to automotive repair and oil filters. I recently purchased a three pack on eBay of these filters for my Jeep Grand Cherokee, hoping to get a deal. When I come to find out, these are actually fake. Uh, the giveaway was just the poor print on the box and the image being upside down, but I ended up ordering from um, Mopa Parts Direct couple filters from both of my cars Dodge charger and the Jeep to compare and make sure that these were actually fakes and let me give you guys a breakdown of how to tell right from the top front image you would have to have the boxes next to each other but you can see a lot darker on the original lighter on the copy usually that's the case because it's poor printing another uh, giveaway is the image is upside down and if you see this on Amazon and on eBay sometimes the image is even correctly so another giveaway will be see how clearly you can see everything in this print over here you cannot now if you turn also different there you go this side you're missing this statement right here you might have a 2014 and that is correct that the fil this filter only is for 2014 and later this didn't say anything about that uh, also the image is upside down again you can see the barcode is way too big and once again, you see the statement is missing here. Part number is bigger. This is different. These are actually both scanned, but that's just a QR. Uh, this looks a little bigger here. So, you know, a few subtle differences as well. If you go to the top, it's missing the number. And even the bottom is different. Look at the way this is finished and look at the way this is finished. But now the main part, let's check the filters themselves. Both come with the rubber seal, which is pretty standard. Color difference, but that could be, you know, dependent on the manufacturing process. Um, this one is probably a couple millimeters taller as well. Thin and thick uh, lip here. Here's the bottom. You can see the finish is different part number printed here some kind of part and a number here nothing on the fake look at the inside this plastic is actually loose it's not even connected to the body it's just sitting in there squeezed against the filter and look at all these chips of plastic loose plastic waiting to break off and damage your car as you see in the original it's nice and clean and more solid top all you should have is a couple numbers printed here if you guys can see laser etched that's it look at the fake has all these prints mopar mopar actually doesn't print mopar on most of these parts because they use their parts across i guess the board or something i learned so you're not always going to see a mopar logo printed on your mopar part that doesn't mean it's not mopar uh, you can see indent here no indent here this is just cheap looking finished plastic so and also once again all poor finishing here and this is not supposed to be moving. This doesn't rotate. Look over here. This rotates. This is really bad. This is more moving parts, more plastic to break and damage your car. So that's on these filters. I don't know about these, but I want to show you guys a close up. I'm sure it's the same idea because I'm seeing on eBay these even pretty cheap too. If the part is too cheap, it's probably a fake, guys. Um, I'll put some links below where you can get the original ones. Um, but let me go give you guys an overview of the box so you can compare when you're buying yours. Look at the quality of the print when you have your box. All these logos here. The back, look for these indents. And the top, also print over here. And then the filter, this is the ML. Dash one I need. I use this for my Dutch charger. I think PH16 if you use like Fram or other brands. So this is the same filter. Here's the print, part number, and so on. Inside finish. This is all metal, so it's a little different. We got a number here, a little marking here. So hopefully this is helpful. 
be careful out there don't get scammed don't put garbage in your car thanks for watching guys i hope this is helpful and i hope uh, saved you some money and headaches with your car appreciate you guys watching please check out the channel for more related repair videos on these cars parts and so on thanks so much and even the fake o-ring is a little bigger than the original and that's going to cause you cause you some issues when you install it